We need a new social contract between residents and city leadership. And, and for too long, it's been top down. A, a top down only does so much. You know, the city mayor or the city councilors giving orders or providing services, it kind of disempowers people. And I think one of the key things to making livable, healthy, vibrant, creative cities is to empower citizens and residents to be part of the decision making. And that's the social contract. I, I often say in my own work, we developed interesting social welfare systems, social democratic systems, social compacts where we provided material benefits for those in need. We provided health care or housing or unemployment insurance. But that doesn't give people meaning and purpose. Uh, it gives people material goods. In now in a more affluent society and across the world, I think the real goal that we have to in creating this social compact as to enable people to feel, find meaning and find purpose in their life. How can they do that? Harnessing the creative energy of people, creating better conditions, more sustainable development, but I think really the grand challenge of the 21st century. Some say energy, some say climate. It's really building strong, vibrant, innovative, and sustainable cities. Uh, of course, uh, cities across the world face different kinds of challenges. In the advanced world, creating a more livable city, a greener city, a city that's more family friendly, Obviously, in the emerging economies, creating a city that just has the basics, a safe streets, good schools, a healthy environment. But I think increasingly, if we look in, in world historical terms, our cities are becoming a lot more alike, and many of the challenges we face are a lot more similar than a century ago when we were very, very different.